Technology is also helping to streamline the trucking industry. An app is helping to match empty trucks with freight that needs to be hauled, so goods can be moved from place to place more efficiently. Morgan Brennan takes a look at the trucking industry's Uberization from Newark, New Jersey. William Lugo has been hauling freight with his own semi for 24 years. Six months ago, he started using an app on his smartphone to find shipments in need of a truck. Before, everything had to was more manually, as far as uh, paperwork, a lot, of, a lot of downtime. Now, technology makes it a lot easier to uh, between loading, unloading. Call it the Uberization of trucking. A technological shift two decades in the making that's shaking up the $700 billion trucking industry. User-friendly apps running on the cloud, powered by algorithms that connect a shipper with available truckers at a market competitive rate. Take this big rig we're riding in right now. The load it's transporting was brokered using Convoy, a Seattle-based startup that's raised capital from the likes of Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and Mark Benioff. The app connected Lugo with Anheuser-Busch who needed to move 2,000 cases of Budweiser from its Newark brewery to a distribution center in the Bronx. The beer maker says this new technology is making its supply chain more efficient. It's really used rich contextual data so that we can learn more about our business. For example, we can understand where we're delaying drivers at pickup, or we can see the truck as it evolves and delivers along a map along its route through the delivery. The move toward automation represents a big change in how truckloads are brokered. A business that has always relied on people, relationships, the phone, even fax machines to match freight to trucks. And Convoy isn't alone. Uber launched a service earlier this year. Amazon is exploring the space. And other startups include LoadSmart and Transfix, which Anheuser also uses. But traditional brokers like C.H. Robinson, J.B. Hunt and Echo Logistics have been investing in new technology as well. C.H. Robinson, for example, has launched two apps since 2011. Analysts say competition is high and the barrier to entry even higher. If you don't have the customers right now you know, and you don't have the carriers, you're going to need to either pay the truckers more or charge the customer less, squeezing your own margin you know, to try to build density in the network. But whether it's a newcomer or an industry stalwart, the innovation means more transparency for shippers. And for drivers like William, more money. I'm seeing a lot more production with the company and a lot more money. And uh, doing, it's going great for, the business, for my business. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan in Newark, New Jersey.